Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome back to the Scroll Saw Workshop. I'm uh, going to do another video tonight in the uh, series of videos I'm doing on Corel Draw Basics for those of you that have gone out and purchased this program and are trying to get started. In the first two videos, I talked a little bit about the user interface and the pick tool, and I'm going to continue uh, in uh, just the very uh, basic features tonight. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, three of the drawing tools uh, that you'll be using pretty often. We're going to talk about the rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, and the polygon tool. And those are the three we'll be working with today. Very basic tools, very simple, but I just want to touch on them just to show you a couple of the uh, features of those tools. So the first one we're going to talk about tonight is the rectangle tool. And if I select that tool, you'll see that on the screen I get the uh, rectangle cursor. And if I click the left, left mouse button and drag, I can drag this rectangle out to any shape I want. And when I let go of it, then you'll see the handles pop up and you'll know that that's the shape that we've drawn. Now, from that point, we can use the fill tool, uh, the palette to fill in this rectangle. And again, with the pick tool, we can do the same thing we did in the other video where we can bring up our two sets of handles, which is our resizing handles and our rotation handles, which we've talked about in a previous video. Another thing we can do uh, with the rectangle tool is when we're drawing a rectangle, if we hold down the control key on the keyboard and draw, we will be constrained to draw a perfect square. Uh, the control key works with uh, most of these graphic tools to constrain the sides to be equal. So when I let go, we'll have a perfect square. Okay, another thing you can do is up here, if you go up and look at your shape tool, which we haven't talked about yet, but we'll get into that later. If I click on the shape tool, it will change these handles around to where if I click on the, the handles, you'll see that what it allows me to do is round the corners of these objects. So when we put this uh, rectangle or square on the screen, we can use our shape tool to round off the corners. Okay, that's uh, the basics of the rectangle tool. And uh, now we'll move on to the ellipse tool. And with the ellipse tool, we can do the same thing. We can draw with our left mouse button and you can see we can make this ellipse any shape we want. Now again, if I hold down the control key, I'll draw a perfect circle. Now, another feature we can do with these is we have our numeric input up here at the top. So if we wanted this circle to be three inches by three inches, we just simply go up here and type those values in and press enter and now we have a three inch circle. And of course we could have done that for the squares too, or the rectangles. If when I have this circle selected, let me go ahead and fill it in here with a color. When I have it selected, if I go back to my shape tool, uh, it gives me the ability to uh, select the type of circle that I want. Now in this case, with the ellipse up here selected in the menu bar, it draws a circle or an ellipse. But I can also go to the pie and click on that. And you can see now with my shape tool selected, when I grab this node, I can actually change the uh, well, it moved over to the arc tool and I really wanted it on the pie. So if I move this around, you'll see that the pie uh, can give me different shapes that I want there. If I have this uh, arc tool selected, then I get the same thing, only it's not filled in. It's the same as the pie, only it's not closed and it can't be filled with a color. With the pie selected, of course, it can be filled with a color. Okay, that's the basics of the oval tool. Uh, the last tool we have is the polygon tool and same situation I can draw it on the screen and in this case if you look up here at the top in the menu bar it has three sides selected for this polygon I can change that if I click four five six seven and eight it actually gives me the ability to make any size polygon I want now again if I were to use the control key those sides would all be constrained to be exactly the same so we'd have more of a perfect polygon. Okay, with the pick tool or the uh, shape tool selected for the polygons, what that allows you to do is actually move these nodes. And I think I'll fill this in first before I do it. But if I have the shape tool selected and I click on one of these nodes, you'll see it gives me the ability to move those nodes around and create some very interesting effects. So uh, you can really get crazy with these things. If you keep going around, you get some very strange uh, spiral graph looking effects. Uh, so that's how you use the tape tool uh, 
uh, shape tool to change the uh, polygon. Okay, there's three of the uh, most basic drawing tools in CorelDRAW. Just wanted to go over those real quickly in a video so everybody could uh, see how those work. And we'll move on into the next video. We'll probably move to the uh, uh, drawing tools such as the uh, uh, line tool and uh, those types of tools. And we'll look at those next. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Catch you in the next video.